Hi guys, so in this video, I will be showing you how to download fonts from defont.com, um, how to download them to your computer and then upload them to Cricut Design Space. Um, for most of the fonts on defont.com, you can use them for free. Um, if you're making st stuff for yourself or for friends and family, um, if you want to use any of these fonts to sell, um, you must purchase a commercial license um, from the seller of the fonts in order to be able to do so. Um, just like you see here, it says free for personal use. But again, if you want to use any of these fonts for commercial use, you must contact the seller in order to purchase a commercial license or commercial use from the author of the font. So um, first you want to go over to defont.com. And um, you know, once you land on the home page, you can see some of the most recent fonts that have been added to the site. Um, what I like to do is to go up to script and then click on calligraphy. And then I just scroll through until I find some fonts or find a font that I like. Um, as you can see, there are 136 pages, which is a lot of pages to scroll through. Obviously, um, you know, if you have some text that you want to type out here to see what it, it would look like, you can do that. So I'll just type my name, Bird, and then click submit. And then I could just see how my name would look in some of these different fonts. So this is just another way um, to show you, you know, which font that you're that you like or for you to see which font that you like. So I'll just scroll through until I find a font that I like. Um, and again, doing it this way, you will not be able to see any glyphs or anything like that, because I know the Hello Fun, the Hello Honey font does have glyphs. Um, and so if you do use the preview option to preview your text, you will not be able to see which fonts have um, glyphs or swooshes or whatever you want to call them. So um, I'll just click the back button to take me back so I can, um, you know, get a realistic view of these fonts. So here's that Hello Honey font that I was just telling you about. As you can see, it has those um, glyphs or swooshes at the end. And so it does this Hello font. Our, our, I already have these um, fonts downloaded. So I'm just gonna scroll through to see, um, you know, what some other fonts that I like. This Joseph Sophia font looks really nice. And again, it has some of those glyphs as well. This font right here looks like handwriting, which is very neat and nice. Um, I think I have this Honest Darling font, but I'm not sure, but it's another one of those fonts that have the glyphs. Um, and as you can see, just more glyphs or swooshes. So I'll just click over to the second page. And again, I'm just looking for something that catches my eye in a font that I don't already have. Um, now looking at the sunshine font, that looks like one that I may like. So I'll keep that one in mind and maybe come back to. The smoothie font looks nice. Here's some more of your swooshes. I know I have this font already for sure. So I'll just click over to the fourth page. And if I don't see anything, I'll just go back and get that sunshine font just to show you how to do this. So this about love, I don't think I have that one, but it looks really nice. Gabriella looks nice as well. Okay, so I think I'm going to go back and get the um, sunshine font, this mama font looks really good too. I like the darkness of it and the boldness of it. So I'll just go back over to, was it the, I think it was this, okay, here it is. Yeah, so now in order to download the font that you want, um, you go over and click the download button. And then, you know, your screen will pop up and you will save this font wherever you want it on your computer and then click the save button. Because I am using a MacBook, I'll just click on this zip folder and it will open that folder for me. And then I'll just double click to open it. And as you can see, I will open this for you. Um, there is a license. Um, and so this is basically so that if you want to purchase the font, um, you can contact the seller of the font. Um, so it looks like the letter Risso, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, if you go to their website, you can purchase the um, actual font from them. Um, there's a standard license, a publishing license, and extended license, and all of those other things. Um, and so, yeah, if you wanted to use this font in order to make things to sell, 
um, you know, you would just click on here and purchase the font. But if you wanted to use it for personal use, you know, it's free. So I'll just exit out of that. And then double click on this font. And again, um, I am using a MacBook. So once I double click on that font, this screen right here pops up. And all I have to do is click install font. And then my font book opens and um, Sunshine is selected. And then I can just scroll through to see this font. Um, I'm going to make my size a little bit bigger so you can see maybe about 48. So I'll just scroll through here so you can see some of these fonts. When I get down to the end, you can see some of those swooshes and some of that extra detail on those letters. So this font is now installed on my computer. And what I'll do now is open up Cricut Design Space. And then I will start a new project. And I'll just click the text button and type some, some words. I'll just type hello, bird. And then I'm gonna go up to my font. And then I always like to choose system because these are the fonts that are on my computer within my system. So then I'll type sunshine. And this is the sunshine font that I just downloaded. I'll just make it a little bit bigger on my screen. And then you can uh, change the letter spacing um, by clicking you know, the down arrow to bring the letters closer together. It looks like the hello word is more, or it's touching more than my bird. So I'll just click the ungroup button. And then over here, I'll just you know select the letters, move them over with the right or the left um, arrow on my keyboard. And I'll just do the same over here. So I'll ungroup and then select these letters and just move them over a little bit closer. And so that's how you download fonts from defont.com and then upload them to Cricut Design Space. Thanks for watching.